Hey guys, happy weekend. It is Friday and I just got home from work and I am watching on Netflix a show called Stranger Things. It just came out and I really don't know what it's about. Like I'm halfway into the first episode and I heard that it was like taken place when E.T. came out. So what is that? Like the 80s, the mid 80s, I think. I don't know. I can't remember, but so far, so good. It's it's pretty good. Uh, Winona Ryder is in it, which I love her. And um, I can't remember the name of the professor or whatever he is um, from the organization that let this beast out. I don't know. I don't really know too much about the show, but it just looks really, really good. So I'm watching that. But um, this weekend is going to be pretty low key. Mother Patty is out of town. So I'm getting her mail and um, watching things there. Snooky Louise got sick yesterday. I don't know what happened to her, but she had some loose stools going on, which were crazy. So I'm keeping an eye on her this weekend, making sure that she's fine. I have to get dog food this weekend. I I'm maybe going to go to Costco this weekend. I don't know. There's a lot going on, but yeah, I'm going to finish watching this episode. Hey guys, so I'm laying in bed taking a little break and something just happened to my Periscope. Apparently somebody tried hacking into my Periscope or I don't know what's going on, but I tried signing in. Actually, first I was notified by my viewers. They said, Angela, your Periscope account is gone. Like it is not there. We don't know where it is, what's going on, where are all of your Periscopes. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like I literally Periscope today. I had several, several Periscopes already uh, saved onto my Periscope accounts for people just to watch and rewatch. And um, so I signed into my account and it said that my Periscope account had been compromised whatever the hell that means. So I had to answer some security questions and I got back in. I don't know if I was hacked or whatnot, but I am not in a good mood right now. everyone. It is Saturday morning and I just woke up not too long ago. Um, I'm getting ready to film a video. I just got done uh, going to the bank and I did Periscope. Oh, I did Periscope. So I know that you guys, some of you guys don't like watching Periscopes on YouTube, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, saving those Periscopes and editing them. So like you don't have to watch the whole thing. So here is the Periscope that I just did right now when I went to the bank. So if you guys want to join Periscope, go right ahead, but I'm going to include some footage right here. I'm on my way to the bank and I just wanted to let you guys know that I am not stopping with my Periscopes. I am going to continue. Um, I found other people, I guess, are reporting me. I don't know why for inappropriate content. But Periscope found that my content was fine. So I'm not stopping. Um, all you haters out there, you guys can try your damnedest and keep on trying and keep on trying. And it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep on going. So, I mean, it's, it's your time. It's your time on your hands. You know, you're the one that looks absolutely pathetic trying to waste your time and it's not gonna work it's not gonna work you just you look like a, a jealous buffoon is what it is and I mean ultimately who has time for that you know like do you guys not have lives I just I don't understand the people who are doing this like how sad how sad and pathetic for people to have to do that, you know? I'm gonna get kind of quiet here because I'm going to the bank. 
but it's my life. Oh, here we go. We're next in line. I know, she's at home. I have to move her car seat up front so she can ride with me again. That's right. <laughs> she's sleeping. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good weekend. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. They -bye. Bye. asked about Snooky Louise, you guys. How sweet. How sweet is that? They always, they always like, are like, oh my God, your dog is so cute. We love her so much. It's crazy. I'm like, I know. I love her too. They enjoy seeing her. So sweet. But anyway, you guys, just to kind of clarify, like I said, haters are going to hate. It's nothing you can do about it. Um, actually, I've been talking with a lot of people from Periscope. And they have been sharing with me, like people who Periscope regularly, like myself, um, like Joe. Um, there's a whole bunch of other people, you know, that I watch that, that like I said, poke, post regularly, have haters, and also um, sing, you know, do music, um, other things, um, are YouTubers, you know, a whole bunch of other people, and they said the exact same thing is happening to them. Not the exact same um, instant like what happened to me, but they have been getting an immense, immense amount of hatred, um, a lot of slander, um, a lot of just harassment in general, a lot more from Periscope um, than normal, just everyday YouTube stuff. Just um, people finding out personal information, like I said before with Charles Gross, um, just a lot of crazy, fucked up shit. So this is not only happening to me, it's happening to a lot of other people. Unfortunately, like I said, a lot of depressed people who feel horrible about themselves feel the need to put other people down. And no, it's not kids. It's actually adults. It's adults that are doing this. People that feel the need to put other people down and they're basically trying to get other people upset, trying to get underneath their skin, trying to get their periscope shut down, um, saying things that aren't true, just a whole slew of things that are happening right now in the world of periscope, of YouTube. Um, people have actually been hating also on Instagram, trying to get people's Instagram accounts hacked which is crazy to me that you would try to get somebody's Instagram, like that you would try to hack someone's Instagram. Who has time for this? Aren't you outside enjoying your life, taking your dogs for a walk, like feeding your cats and visiting your mother on Sundays, like cooking for your family or nursing your child, like buying books and playing Pokemon? What are you doing with your lives? Why? I, I The only person that looks 100% completely pathetic are the people who are doing it. And I don't think that they quite understand how crazy of a lunatic they look. I mean, people think that I'm crazy. And I am crazy. I am not normal. I would wish upon all of my best friends and all of the people that I love to be crazy and to be abnormal and to be not to be not in the norm reason reason being is because don't be normal don't be normal be different be unique don't blend in with others um normal is very boring um you know, I mean, you, you do what you need to do, um, but don't bring others down in the process of you being abnormal. <laughs> you know, try, try, try to be a good person. Just try to have a kind heart and try to be a good person and try to be supportive and loving of others. Um, people who are going through hard times right now, try to be supportive and loving of them. You know, try not to bring other people down within your misery because guess what? It's not going to work because I may be insane, 
but I certainly am not stupid. There you go. So you guys, I'm just kind of going joyriding right now, periscoping. I'm literally almost home, and um, I just thought that I would periscope a little bit to you guys uh, because, like I said, all my periscopes have been deleted, so you guys really don't have a lot to watch. Also, my YouTube username is AZ, the number four, Angela, um, and also subscribe if you really like the content. It would mean the world to me if you guys did. My subscribers are some of the most fascinating, beautiful people ever. Absolutely love them. I mean, I love you guys a lot, and... This is why I do what I do, you know? I've, I've found a lot of friends on Periscope. I found a lot of friends on YouTube. Um, I consider you guys my friends and family. I mean, there are incidences where I have met some of you guys face to face. Um, I have formed friendships with people across the United States, like true friendships, like real friendships. And that's why I enjoy doing what I do, you know? I think it's fun, I think it's exciting. And for people just to knock that down, it's just, it's super, super sad. It's super sad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you guys dearly, and um, hopefully there will be an after hours tonight, you guys. I completely fell asleep last night watching that stranger show. <gasps> oh my God, on Netflix. You guys have to watch it. If you are in your 40s, watch it. If you are, it's not a movie. It's a, it's like a episodes, episodes, episodes. Oh, it brings me back to my childhood, seeing the bikes, seeing them, hearing the music. Um, oh my God, you guys, it is so good. It's a Netflix exclusive. So definitely go watch it. I will uh, see you guys all later. I'm on the second, no, I'm starting the third episode. So, oh my gosh, you guys have a good day, everyone. Enjoy the sun, get outside with your animals and spread your wings and your peacock love everywhere. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Hey guys, so that was just a little bit of my periscopes that I do. Like I said, I periscope literally every day. Can you guys see the smoke? I'm burning incense right now. Um, I periscope every day, um, usually multiple times a day if I can find the time. What I really enjoy doing is periscoping before I go to work in the morning. Those are like the best periscopes because I pick up one of my coworkers, Judy, she's like one of my best friends, and we drive around and we literally shoot the shit, and like, usually that's when all of the crazy things happen, is uh, Periscope in the morning, so check that out, we sometimes like, go to Subway, or um, you know, go to Starbucks, or whatever, and literally crazy things happen, like, we caught a criminal, like, we caught a criminal one time, it was insane. We, there was this woman where her dog bit this person and we found them and I reported it and it's like crazy. There's other things that have happened where, um, we've seen some crazy shit and when her and I get together, it is hilarious. But anyway, um, so right now I am just kind of editing, uh, some videos. I recorded my new series, so I'm super excited about that, you guys, because, um, it's been a long time since I've actually just sat in front of the camera and talked about candles. I've tried to do it before and it just like didn't turn out right. And I feel like it was because I felt like I wanted to sort of kind of be scripted. And when I feel like I need to be scripted, I'm not myself. Like if I'm promoting a product, I always give my honest review, but at the same time, I want to be professional, which is like, I can't swear, I can't like be goofy and silly, and in this series, I'm just myself, and I'm going to try not to edit anything, like I'm going to try to just like, like in this video, I literally started choking like on air, I don't know what it was, but I didn't edit it out, I just left it alone. So, um, yeah, it's going to be totally unscripted. It's going to be about, I think you guys have already seen actually the first series. It's just going to be about coffee and candles. And I'm going to showcase some of the candles that I have. There's going to be no repeats. So yeah, it's super exciting. And it's just basically back to basics, back to me being me before my video went viral. Just me talking about candles. And I don't know if you guys can see the smoke, 
but literally I'm burning an incense stick and it's in the uh, scent Sunrise. It smells so good. I love incense. Incense to me is like, I don't know, memories, kind of like candles as well. I don't know. I love it. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm going to go watch some Netflix right now and just kind of like chill and relax and drink some coffee and I'll catch you guys later. I also wanted to show you guys a candle that I just started burning. This is by DW Home in the scent Lilac Blossom. And I don't know, you guys, it hasn't reached a full pool out yet full wax pool, um, but the scent is amazing, like normal, and I love the purple glass. I'm going to be saving this glass and recycling it for my office, but um, yeah, I can't really tell if these are the bad wicks or the okay wicks, so we'll see. Hey guys, so I am on my way to Mother Patty's house. Um, she went out of town for a few days, and I told her that I was going to uh, get her mail and her paper and things like that so I'm on my way to do that and uh, I saw something in her backyard the other day um, that I touched a little bit on Periscope about but not a lot so I'm gonna touch on it with YouTube so you guys who all live in New York City or New York or wherever you guys live um, you guys may have more information about this than I do, but living in Wisconsin, we really don't have this problem around here too much, but I think, and don't quote me because I don't know for sure, but I think that I saw a rat in Mother Patty's backyard, like going, like walking, crawling, running around the fence. And I remember when my youngest daughter was growing up, there was a little boy in her class who lived on the same street as Mother Patty. And yes, we are by water. Um, our whole city is by water because that was a question that someone asked. Um, he had an infestation of rats like under his garage. And they said that the rats were huge. And like, we don't really see that here. And I don't know if it was a rat that I saw or if it was like a mole, but I like looked at the face to see if it had like a mole face because the mole faces, they kind of look like an anus face. Like it's really disgusting and gross. But this one looked like an overgrown mouse. Like it was the size of a guinea pig and I'm scared and I don't want to go in her backyard right now but I might when she gets home tomorrow just to like investigate the situation in her backyard to see if we can find anything. Good morning everyone and happy rainy Sunday. I am in Una and I am on my way to Hellbart. It is 6.30 in the morning. I decided that it would probably be better for me to go to Walmart at 6.30 in the morning. So I miss all the crowds. I miss all the chaotic moments that Walmart can have um, on the weekends and just try to get my grocery shopping done in peace. I may not do all of my grocery shopping at Walmart though just because I know like it's a hit or a miss with their produce. Like sometimes the fruits are really good. Sometimes they're not so good. It just, it all depends on what they have. I know there's been a lot of people that have been complaining about their bananas being like shady. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to do that today. And then it's raining today, so I doubt I'm going to be able to get outside. Um... I was going to go for a walk with Snooky on the trestle, but I don't think that's going to happen today. It looks like it's going to be possibly a rainy day all, all day today. So I'm going to get my laundry done. I may film some videos here or there. I'm not real sure. I think this week I only have two videos to think about doing, and I haven't really done a Moon's Harvest uh, bath demo recently so I may do one of those I may take like a long relaxing bath tonight and do one of those and then um, what else and then I may just do a candle review I don't know I'm almost done with the candle um, oh what was it it was a swirl one it was Bahama breeze and something else swirled together I'm almost done with that one and 
my mom comes back today from her trip and I'm thinking about possibly seeing if I can make it to um, Yankee Candle because <clears throat> I haven't been to Yankee Candle in a long time and I have decided that you know even though I have a lot of candles I do want to just check out and see what they have because the UK candles in Yankee are not this year going to the new label so they will still have the old label and occasionally my Yankee candle store gets UK cents in um, so we'll see how that goes I'm not real sure um, and I decided that I don't really want to buy large jars anymore I have like an immense amount of large jars that I don't need large jars anymore plus the large jars do take a long time to get through for um, burning and I feel like the medium jars are just as good they give you that scent you know the pop of scent and um, it takes like half the time to get through obviously because it's a medium jar so um, yeah you guys might be seeing some medium jar candle reviews from me in the near future and I hope that doesn't matter to you guys um, but leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys like seeing the candle reviews of the largest jar that you can possibly get or if the medium jars are okay for you guys I don't know everyone I guess has their preference I kind of like the large jar Wow when you see it on screen it just you know the label is huge and it pops and um, yeah but anyway so I am almost to Hallmark and hopefully there won't be a lot of people crazy people there at 630 in the morning I'm thinking all the crazies are sleeping well I got my grocery shopping done in about an hour it is 735 it is pouring rain outside I got completely drenched and they only had the self checkout open. The woman said that no one showed up for work today. That's Hellmart. She's like, yeah, when going gets rough, no one wants to come in and work, but then they expect to get paid. I mean, she was so cute and she was so nice. So here I have this cart full of groceries and she helped me like unpack everything and, um, or I mean pack everything up because I mean usually the self checkouts aren't able to accommodate like a full load and it's just like oh my god so now it's pouring outside and I have to get these groceries in the house somehow and as I'm going to my van to put my groceries in my van this guy almost hits me with his truck like he literally can't wait for me to just round the corner like and I was there first like he wasn't watching where he was going because of the rain it's just like oh my god so I'm gonna go home I did get, get some Walmart wax um they didn't have any of the fall wax in but I did get some just to like just to fulfill my needs for now and um, I'm just gonna do like a little Walmart haul type thing and show you guys what I got but um, yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so I am home now. Snooky Louise is sitting on top of me like she always does um, when I'm sitting in my chair here. And I am going to film my Walmart video. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna film my Walmart video and then um, get that up and edited and things of that nature and then um I don't know I still have to put my groceries away too I haven't done that but oh my goodness she's so little oh god groceries are put away and I filmed my video and edited it and edited it edited it edited it edited it you guys know what I mean. But anyway, I edited the video and um, it's up right now on YouTube. It's going to be posted this week. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I think this vlog has been um, okay, I guess. I did put my Periscope video in here. So 
please leave a comment down below too and let me know if you guys want to see more Periscope videos within the vlog or if you don't like that at all. Like if you don't like seeing my Periscope videos in the vlog, please tell me because I won't put them in there anymore um, and I'll just like record me now. But that was kind of now because... Um, because the Periscope video happened this weekend, so it was live. And it's a way for me to Periscope, but then at the same time vlog in a way. But anyway, it's not really a big deal if you guys don't like it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for joining me this weekend. Don't forget to watch the end of this video for all of the Snapchats that I got over the weekend. There's some good ones in there, I do believe. And give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.
happy to make time for your feelings But you have to admit I already do Let's just break it down To you and me uptown Dancing all around Till the disco ball pops But I have to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you Don't hate me cause I get attention Don't turn me 